Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate Christmas. Hope you're having a lovely day. This is the last day of Mishmas 2022. Can you believe it? I'm in my incredibly echoey living room, so excuse that. Uh, my husband is actually in the kitchen. He's making some ruckus. So we are here in the living room and I have something really exciting to show you guys. I teased it a little bit, maybe like the second week of Mishmas, where I talked about an electrician coming that day to actually install uh, a car charger in our garage. So what my husband and I decided to get ourselves for Christmas was a new car, and we picked up a Tesla Model Y. You guys, I love this car. I absolutely love it. So it's Technically, I guess you would say my husband's car because um, he handed in his car <laughs> to trade it in uh, for this car and I still have my uh, SUV. So he, he's like in love with it. He loves the technology. I'm in love with it. I love the technology. Um, I do have to run an errand later, so I will uh, take you uh, for a little spin in the car. But I just am so excited <laughs> for this new car. I've never really been a car person having spent most of my adulthood in uh, New York City where you don't really drive. But after moving out here and having to drive everywhere, experiencing more cars, when I go back to visit New York, my friends have now moved out of New York City. They live in the suburbs, they have a car. And actually, uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, whenever I go back to New York and visit my friends, I stay with uh, some friends that live uh, on Greenwood Lake and they have a Tesla. So I've been able to drive one around. Um, it's actually a Model Y as well. Um, so I've been able to drive one around and familiarize myself with like the differences. And this is way before we even talked about uh, picking one up, but it's so much fun. I don't know if you guys have ever driven a Tesla or if you have one. I, I just think it's a lot of fun. It's such a nice uh, driving experience. And now when I get into my car, my SUV, it feels so clunky and like mechanical and just this like big machine where the Tesla feels really sleek. It's like super quiet. The pickup is incredibly fast. It's, you have everything on that looks like a giant iPad. It's just phenomenal. I love, love, love the driving experience. So like I mentioned, we got a Model Y, which is like their SUV. We were thinking about getting the Model X, which is kind of like an SUV size, shape or whatever, that's the one with the wing doors. But my husband didn't like the wing doors. And then it has that half steering wheel. And I was like, no, absolutely not. Like I, I grabbed the top of the steering wheel a lot. So I was like, I, I think that would be too much for me to get used to. So anyway, we ended up with the Model Y and we got a white exterior and a white interior. So we were calling it, or actually I was calling it the marshmallow for a while. So after he ordered it, uh, which you just do online, it's, it's just crazy. Like buying a Tesla is like as easy as buying like a computer. You go online, you just spec it out. There are very few options like color, tire, the battery, like the, the model, I guess. And then, yeah, then that's it. And then you basically get a delivery date and you go to the dealership and you pick it up. Like, that's it. The whole process is unbelievably simple where you're like, why has it been so complicated all these years? So anyway, we decided on getting a white exterior and a white interior because being here in Vegas, especially in the summertime, if you have a black car or a black interior, you will probably burn yourself. I have a black car and I have, I have to be very, very careful when I open up the door. So my husband was like, let me get a white one. Ironically, it has black handles. <laughs> I was like, be careful with those in the summertime. But a white car is cooler and a white interior. So he placed the order for a white exterior, white interior, and I just started calling it the marshmallow. So once he took delivery of it, I was like, how stay puffed? I just started calling it stay puffed. So now that's the name of our car. It is Stay Puffed. My car, if you're unfamiliar, I have mentioned this before when I first got my car, her name is Shantae. So we have Shantae and Stay Puffed. I'm just so thrilled to have this car. And I, in fact, I have car envy. Hey guys, I am in the new Tesla. I'm so, <laughs> so excited. This car is so interesting to drive. Um, I also have a really janky setup here because there's like nowhere to put anything on the dashboard, it's very different from my car. So I apologize if it's shaky or it's definitely a very weird angle. So we got this car to um, replace my husband's car. Um, it was just time, it was getting old and I have total 
car envy. <laughs> Total car envy. This car is so much fun to drive. It feels like a cross between a go-kart and a spaceship. <laughs> it's so funny. That little ding that basically tells you that the light has turned green. I mean, it's just so, it's like so high tech, especially compared to um, the car that my husband used to have, which was I think not eight or nine years old. There are a lot of things to get used to uh, in this car, in these like electric cars. I don't know if all electric cars are like this, but um, the gas pedal is like, is like a go-kart. So, <laughs> so when you press down on it, you go. And when you lift up your foot, it starts to stop. So like, if you get really good at it, you don't even have to use your brake at all. It's, it's really kind of, yeah, that definitely is, I would say that is the biggest learning curve. And then just things like there's no key anymore. You know, if you have the app um, just open on your phone and you just walk up to the car it just it unlocks and uh, when you walk away from the car it locks just all, I'm like you don't have to carry a key with you anymore like I love that because car keys have become like these paperweights which are so annoying and the pickup on this car is really really impressive <laughs> like really impressive not that we're like speed demons in any way shape or form you know being from new york where the speed limit is 25 miles per hour it's just yeah it's just really really impressive so that's definitely something to note as well so my car's lease is up at the end of next summer um summer 2023 and i th i think i'm gonna get a tesla like i just really it's just such a great driving experience the car is so quiet it's so well insulated like I really don't hear a lot of highway sound I love the technology how it like maps out all the cars that are around you it's just really really cool and I like how simplified everything is and this is just such a smooth nice ride you know it doesn't feel like the car like feels light or cheap in any way it handles really, really well. I'm just so impressed with this car. It's also really cool just to like plug in your car, like a phone at night to just charge it up to like never have to go to a gas station ever again is just dreams. I always had the idea that having two electric cars, like both of your cars being electric probably wasn't the smartest idea. Like you kind of want to diversify your carpool but we never really drive that far. I mean, occasionally I've driven to LA. I've driven to Palm Springs once. We're actually driving to Palm Springs um, this New Year's. But, you know, in the six years that we've lived here, that's a total of four trips. So, I don't know. I just don't think that should be a huge consideration for us, but we'll see. So I didn't even tell you guys why I'm out and about. I have a doctor's appointment, so that's what I'm doing. It shouldn't take too long. It's just uh, an annual. Another weird thing about the Tesla is you just put the car in park and then you leave. Like you don't turn it off. Like there's nothing to do. It's, it's so awesome. I think it's just so awesome. It's like really taking good advantage of technology. So anyway, I'm just going to exit the car and go to my doctor's appointment and I'll be back in a little bit. You guys, I can't believe it. This is the last day, the last day of the advent calendars. Oh, all right, Space NK, you've been absolutely amazing. Let's see what you have for day 25. It's Christmas. <laughs> oh, of course, they put two things in here. The Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream, amazing. And, oh, wow, an Augustinus batter, the face oil. Wow, 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 wow. They really did it. Thank you, Space NK. This has been an incredible, incredible holiday season with you and your advent calendar totally blew me away. I thought this was an amazing one. All right, Joe Malone. Oh, here's day 25. I'm so sad this is over. All right, we have got, oh wow, I us have one of those full size. Ah, oh, the English Pear and Freesia. This really is like the ultimate holiday winter fragrance. And day 25 for Diptyque. Got this huge box down here. Oh, we have their limited edition special holiday sapin, sapin, 
which is uh, like their pine fragrance. This is a really, oh, it smells so good. So good. Oh, wow. Well, we definitely went out with a bang. The Tatcha Dewey Skin Cream, the Augustinus Batter, the face oil. I mean, incredible. Um, a full size of the English parent Freesia Cologne and this beautiful limited edition candle from Diptyque. Oh, you guys. So sad. I'm sad this was the last day. Good morning. I just wanted to show you where I put some of those Target things. So I got this little faux Christmas tree here. I put it on this console table that I have underneath this mirror. So that's where I put that. And then by the stockings, I just put those little guys between the pine cone stocking holders over the fireplace. I had originally picked those up to put on my dining table, but I think what I'm gonna do is just order from my florist, like just a pretty centerpiece for the dining table, just so to like stay low. I think, yeah, that um, when I put that faux pine tree like in the middle, I'm like, if people are sitting there, it's just, it's too in the way. So anyway, I'm gonna order like a low, a centerpiece for that table and get some other fresh flowers to put around the house. So that's what we did with the uh, minimal <laughs> holiday decor that I purchased at Target. We're closing out Mishmas. Do you want to say goodbye to everyone? For now? Bye for now. So thank you guys so, so much for participating in Mishmas, for always being so excited for Mishmas to come around uh, every December. It really is what motivates me. It really is so much fun to do and to think about, you know, all year I feel like I'm thinking about Mishmas. And I know over the past couple of videos, you know, me and other influencers, we've talked about how it's a long journey uh, to create all of those videos for Mishmas. And, you know, it's just the truth. I get very, very tired towards the end of it, but it doesn't take away from how much I really enjoy doing it and, you know, just, Kind of taking you along with me um, all month. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching and uh, your lovely, wonderful comments as always. And I just wanted to, you know, mention a few things now that we've come to the end of the year. I will be taking a break until about New Year's. So I will see you in 2023. I can't believe that. Um, I may have some other sort of content up like blog posts. So definitely um, subscribe to my blog newsletter. I have a link uh, down below in my description box. I may also put up some TikTok shorts if you wanna follow me over on TikTok. They're not TikTok shorts, they're TikToks and they may end up being shorts on YouTube. And you know, over on Instagram, definitely follow me there. But I will be taking a little bit of a break from long form content on YouTube. And I was able to make a donation to Rolling Dog Farm. I'll leave a link to them down below if you wanna read further about them. But I wanted to thank you guys for all of your support. Without your support, I would not have been able to make that donation. So thank you so, so much. And I already have a really exciting January lined up. So 2023, I think is going to be really great. I'm a pretty optimistic person. So I always really look forward to the new year. I'm just so excited as to what the year can bring. When I think back to the beginning of 2022, I would not have been able to predict all the incredible things that happened over the year, like going to Morocco. That was just a life-changing trip. It was uh, like a bucket list trip and it was so incredible, so incredible. So I'm really excited to see what 2023 is going to bring. So thank you guys so much for a wonderful 2022. I look forward to spending 2023 with you guys and have a lovely, lovely holiday season. I'll see you in the new year. Bye.